So we're gonna test this out. I did also switch back to the Traxxas controller and receiver because I did have Spectrum in this one and I've decided to change it back for now and uh, see how that goes. So we're gonna test it out, guys. All right, gonna flip this on. All right, guys, this is the first test with this motor and the DSC setup, so. got a lot of power. Uh -oh. Luckily I didn't run that right into myself. That body has definitely seen better days though. Yeah, this thing's a bit of a handful, actually. I mean, it kind of wants to lift the wheels at just about any speed, which is nuts. just blew the tire wide open guys I uprighted it but yeah that look at my tire oh geez I don't even think that was one of the ones I had glued that's unfortunate but guys well yeah completely blew that one open luckily I have another tire I have another few tires inside but um they might blow open just like this one did pretty sweet Everything should be holding up all right inside. I'm just trying to make sure that that motor hasn't shifted at all. Because I had the pinion set. Yeah, I think the pinion's still set all right. Nothing really feels all that warm. Yeah, I think it's good. So yeah, if I get another wheel and tire on there, then maybe I can take this thing back out. All right, guys, I'm back out here before it gets dark. I got another wheel and tire back on. Um, 
Not sure how well these are gonna hold up, but I still got some battery left, so I figured I may as well take it back out and I'm gonna try not to flip it all the way down there. Really don't want to go get it. And, uh, I did have to run a completely different. Um, this is a Kershaw Designs mount, but it doesn't actually mount up very well in there because I actually had to. I had to kind of mount it weird because these slots aren't actually made for for this particular motor. This one's going to be in future videos as long as it's working properly. Um, we're going to see if I have better luck with the Max 6 ESC than the Max 5. Obviously the Max 6 actually fits down in here. The Max 5 did not fit at all. I had to have it mounted up, up above. Alright, well, you guys want to give this video a like um, so more people can see my videos. Um, and like I said, if you enjoy my X-Max videos, there's going to be more and more of them because I'm trying to get all my X-Maxes going. And at some point, I'd like to have a video having all three of my X-Maxes. I'd like to do a speed test. Like, um, if I can find a little bit of a flat road where I can actually run them about full out, um, I'd like to buy a little GPS thing and put it on uh, all of my RCs and see how fast each of, them, each of them will go. I mean, this one's running, they're all running different... Um, gearing this one's running the 22 uh, pinion 22 22 tooth pinion and the 54 tooth spur my super heavy aluminum one that has the mad max wheels and tires that's running an 18 tooth pinion and a 54 tooth spur gear and the other one that i've shown in my previous videos the one that i just got finished building that one's running a 20 tooth pinion and a 52 spur gear and i think both of those two are running the stock vxl 8 scs and the one's running a 1600 kV motor, my um, one with Mad Max wheels and tires, that's running a 1600 kV. And the other one I just showed you last week, that's running a 1200 kV. So, but this thing, this thing's pretty crazy with a 1650 kV hobby wing motor. But like I said, you need a mount. It won't mount with the, with the stock mounts, I don't believe. So, yep.